What's up, homies? Yesterday we posted a Vorkath solo guide, but I decided to take it down and post a better one because since then I've learned the mechanics better and I've got a couple more tips that I can share with you all. Getting started, we're in a set of the Tier 95 First Necromancer set, Zuck Cape EOF with a Death Grasp in it. The Salve Amulet does work and it is best in slot, but I like having another special weapon. Also using the Scripture of Jass and Majorat Aura. Let's get started. Now we're going to be skipping the Nexuses and going straight in. So you'll be surging over here. Recommend potting up, doing Conjure Army, and then you're going to want to use a Death Mark on this Undead Giant. It's going to save you a good bit of time. You can even use a Reflect if you want. I like to use death skulls here. You could use like a threads with uh, threads of fate with soul sap to build up on the minions. Bomb them out. Easy, right? Going in, we're going to make sure we got our ghost special going. We're going to surge forward. Make sure you debuff Vorkath. It's going to save you a lot of time. By debuff, I mean use Vuln Bombs, Smoke Cloud if you so wish. We're going to use our Living Death. Our adrenaline potion and again during the fight the great thing about this is if you mess up the mechanics you'll survive now I like to use the ballista as soon as the first shield spawns throughout the fight Zamorgal will summon minions around the arena now right here you're gonna turn protect for magic on surge to the outside use the anticipation ability because he's gonna stun you look we're good to go we're still in the fight Use up all your necrosis stacks if you got them. I shall rend the very flesh from and I did get one of the Invoke Lord of Bones drops yesterday, so I hope you guys get as lucky as I've been. Now here shortly he's going to flop in the sky. You can use the Ballista instead, but I find it easier, especially when learning to not use the second, not use the action button again until right now. He flies up in the sky, use the Ballista to shoot him down. While he's doing that, you're going to hit Zamorgul. This is a good time to use Death Mark. Also, be aware that just like Raziel and us, he has soul stacks above his head, and he can use Volley of Souls. Now, when this smoke's on the ground right there, that means he's going to summon spikes. In hard mode, those are very unforgiving. At this point, you want to use your Ballista again to kill all these guys out here. Forecast almost down for the count, and it's going to summon his poison here in just a second. Magic attack again, surge to the outside to avoid the spikes. Almost got hit right there. He's going to summon poison here in just a moment. Right there, we got smoke again for the spikes. We're gonna use our ballista. Must I be forever plagued by lesser beings? Make sure you debuff Zamorgul. And during this kill, I actually used a Reaver Familiar. And there we go. Honestly, that was a super scuffed kill, but even then we got a ton of food left. Nothing crazy. Yeah, let me know if you found that helpful. Here we go. We've got our casket. And guys, don't forget, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. We're a small but passionate RuneScape channel, and we love to help people, and we love the game. But let's check out what loot we got before we go. And nothing. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day. May your RNG be blessed.